Oh, and one last note that I haven't mentioned. Have you seen Kate's body double? She's amazing. And she's confirmed that it wasn't her in the video, and I don't think it looks like her anyway. Um, it looks more like Kate's friend, whatever her name is. And um, I can't tell the difference between most of them, but I've never met her, neither of most of you. We've not met her. So if we don't see her for three months, we probably won't met recognize her and in this world of ai i'm really finding it hard to see what videos on social media are ai generated or human generated unless there's this awful ai voice i cannot tell the difference and um so i just think how how can you know you've got all these celebrities having facial reconstruction i think the most obvious was michael jackson he completely changed everything about himself over his career and Madonna has changed phenomenally and to be fair if you've ever seen that movie Face Off with Nicolas Cage and John Travolta it's an interesting movie what we can do nowadays is phenomenal with AI and with facial reconstruction so how on earth are we supposed to believe what we see I can't um, I saw those deep fake videos of Tom Cruise I thought they were amazing and I can't believe that wasn't Tom Cruise. I'm like, wow, we can actually generate anyone and make a movie out of them. We have that technology today. Now, I, I do some project management with AI stuff. So AI is not there. It's never going to replace us creative people in that because um, it doesn't have the human soul in it. So what I've seen is that any writing or art that's generated by AI is not actually liked by most people. So they don't buy the art. They prefer to buy things that are created by humans because our love, energy, heart and soul is in that creativity, not AI. So I think authors like me, musicians, artists, I don't think we need to worry because there'll be a phase of people trying to do this. But long term, humanity will be sick of hearing it and seeing it. They'll want real human stuff. So they're not going to want to buy that. People who like to read, people who like to listen to music, people who like to look at art, we do it because of the artist's heart and soul that's an energy that's in that product. AI doesn't give you that. And I've tried this a few times. I've created a few little things and showed it to different people. And they're like, no, I don't like that. I prefer that one. And they always pick the human one. Even if the AI one looks better, they will always pick the human one. Fact proven it re repeatedly so i think when you look at her body double who earns a lot of money looking like her and she actually has just done a video saying that it wasn't her at the farm shop and she thinks it was kate i can't see it myself because kate was puffy and i know puffy puffy takes a long time to go down and when you're in your 40s that puffiness never really goes back to when you're in your 20s. Yeah, she could have had a facelift, but she wouldn't have healed that fast. Um, Madonna and Tom Cruise are puffy for ages. It can take up to a year, apparently. I don't know. I'm really wrinkly, so you wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I have no experience there. I'm only going by what they've told me. And so I think you just can't tell the difference in this AI world. You can put anybody's face on anybody else. And I just think with all our technology and what we can do, what we can watch videos of Tom Cruise that are not Tom Cruise and not even know it, but we can't get a non-blurry image of her after three months of not seeing her. I'm just genuinely concerned. I don't want to know what's wrong with her. None of my business. Um, I wish every single person in that family the best of luck and love. I think they've all had... William and Harry have had a really hard upbringing, in my view. But for 25 years, they have not been able to get over the shadow of what happened to Diana. The UK public have never forgiven that. They've never liked it. Forget about who murdered who. If anyone murdered anyone, of course. It's how she was treated when she chose to leave. That was horrible. And how Meghan has been treated, because... Harry took her away to safety. Horrible. You don't treat people like that. It's disgusting. You have an obligation to look after them and treat them well. Just because they want to leave your family, get over it. A lot of children don't like their parents and want to leave. It's how it 
goes, you know. But you don't allow them to be put under threat, their lives miserable. I'm, I, I'm actually in admiration of Harry and Meghan because I think I would break under that pressure. I would really struggle with depression and oh, I'd feel awful. And and yet they, they're holding it together, even with all the insults and trash and everything that they get. And fair play to both of you. Please keep going, keep going, because it won't always be like that. One day it will get better for you when everyone's bored sick of being horrible so I don't know what to believe don't really care but I'm just saying in this age 